ActiveState and Cloudera are partnering to bring ActiveState built ML runtimes to Cloudera machine learning. Now, it's easier than ever to securely extend your Cloudera machine learning environment with the latest ML tools and frameworks from the open source community. Let's learn how. To start, head over to the ActiveState platform and log into your account. If you don't have one, you can create one for free. Create a new project, select Python as the language, and choose a modern version of Python. Select Linux as the operating system, and give your project a name. Finally, click on Add Packages and ensure you have the Cloudera ML Runtime package added at minimum. Next, you can add any ML or AI packages that you want to bring to your Cloudera machine learning instance. Let's add NumPy. Finally, to ensure Cloudera compatibility, we need to make sure that our runtime is packaged as a Docker image before we can import it to CML. Under Platforms, click Docker as a deployment method. Finally, we can save our changes and the ActiveState platform will build all our packages and Docker image from source, ensuring the integrity of our software supply chain and the compatibility of the components. This may take a few minutes. Please be patient. Let's switch over to another project that's already done building. In this project, we have Flask alongside the mandatory Cloudera ML runtime package. Move over to the Downloads tab and click on Install via Docker. Download the Docker image to your local machine. Load up a terminal window or command prompt and ensure the Docker engine is running. Next, navigate to the Downloads folder on your local machine and copy and paste the text from step number two. In this step, we load the Docker image into Docker from the tarball you just downloaded. Next, we're gonna retag the image with details about your private registry. Copy and paste the text from step three and modify the square brackets with the host name of your private registry and or your username. If you're using Docker Hub like I am, you can simply use your username. Finally, copy and paste the text from step four to push the image to your registry. Once again, modify your registry name to the actual name of your registry. It should be the same as in step three. You're gonna to wanna to copy and paste the full name of the Docker image for later so that you can import it into CML. Log into CML using an administrator account so we can add your new ML runtime to your catalog. Click on runtime catalog, add runtime, and paste in the name of the image we just created. This will get pulled from the ecol5 username on Docker Hub or your private registry. Click validate and you'll see details about your runtime. We're using Python 3.10.12, the organization was AS Demo, and the project name was MyML Runtime. You'll also see the commit ID on the active state platform populated in the description. Add this to your catalog so it can be used by projects in CML. Navigate to projects, select one, and go to the project settings. Click on runtime, add runtime, and filter by PBJ Workbench. Next, select the version of Python that you configured on the ActiveState platform. You can see the runtime we added to the catalog appear here. The name is the organization and the project name. Note, you can find the corresponding commit ID on the ActiveState platform. Click Submit to add this to your project. You can now use this in your jobs and sessions. Let's create a new session with this runtime. Add a new session, give it a name, and you'll see the runtime is selected. If you have multiple runtimes attached to a project, you'll be able to choose them here. Click Start Session, and that's it. Now, you'll be able to leverage the safety and security of the ActiveState platform on CML.